Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Got the one and only Chris Kidd in. And uh, we're doing regular features on on financial coaching and and, uh, money in general, but also a real specific focus on what's happening in the area of sports. And and, uh, I got a feeling over time, entertainment. I've had some entertainment people that uh, have been approaching me about uh, talking about money issues as well. To me, they seem to go hand in uh, glove, uh, Chris Kidd. Yeah, uh, we've actually working on line on, uh, lining a few of those up, and they uh, definitely go hand in hand because uh, anywhere uh, in an industry like that where somebody comes into money really fast and gets a lot of it that may not know how to handle it is uh, certainly uh, a good place that fits. Absolutely. So uh, Chris Kidd, uh, he's with at chriskidd.com, that's K-I-D-D, uh, financial person extraordinaire, coach, uh, advisor. We love having him on the program. Chris, uh, tell us about our guest that you have lined up for us today. Uh, well, today we have uh, John Greenberg. He's a, an author and uh, really an, an expert on uh, in the college world of uh, football. And uh, he's written several books and uh, quite an authority. So uh, good to have you on, John, or have well, you back. You <laughs> I know you've been on Kevin's show before, so good to have you back. Thank you ever so much for having me. Yeah, you and I had a a debate about the NCAA uh, new, uh, you know, the, this whole system that they have re- devised to ruin college football, which which he thinks <laughs> well, is a great system, and I think has got great peril uh, lined up. But we won't talk about it this time. But I am going to get you back on to talk about it. Uh, we 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 disagreed, but you know, you've been on the show a few times, and I agree with you most of the time. But oh. But that's well, a hot great, issue, buddy. I'm not sure if we can ever get over that. Oh, no, it, it, it can go on for months. Yeah, that absolutely you know. could go on for months. Uh, but yeah. anyway, that playoff system from hell. But anyway, let's <laughs> uh, let's go to to, uh, to Chris. Uh, your uh, your first question for our guest? Well, kind of one of the things we've been focusing on a little bit lately is uh, some of the drama going on in uh, college sports in general right. or in the sports world. And, uh, you know, you being an expert in college football – Kind of, what are some of your opinions on that? With, I mean, you see all these athletes getting in trouble, you know, all the time, and some of them that are really high-profile uh, athletes. You I had, think, yeah, go ahead. I, I think uh, an issue that really isn't uh, vocalized too much is these are prodigies that we're talking about. You, you talk about like this, uh, Jameis. Uh, Winston. Yeah, he was, and, I was okay. just thinking of him. He, he, there's larger-than-life things uh, credited to this guy. When he was 9 years old, when he was 12 years old, he did thus and so. So he, he's a prodigy. And what happens is that the parents, they think in terms of the big payday that's coming. And this is kind of shortchanging the kid because he may be uh, being enabled you know he's got he's got to have instant gratification, and he he isn't really uh, getting up to speed on how to handle disappointment. And sports is, is intended to teach people how to lose gracefully. Yeah, because absolutely. Every, everybody loses in life. You know, you can lose a pet, you can lose a job, you can lose a loved one. Everybody is going to lose sometimes. And uh, the, the the mark of greatness is when you get knocked down. That you pick yourself up and, and get back into the the chase. Yeah, no question about it. No question about it. And uh, by the way, uh, uh, John's the author of uh, several books, articles. Uh, really has done enormous research in the whole uh, arena of sports in general, but particularly college football. Your next question, Chris. Uh, well, John, is there anything that the schools can do? I mean, I, I'm totally in a hundred percent agreement with you on things coming back to the parents, and it's it's how that you're brought up and stuff. and Right. Uh, but yeah. is there anything the schools can do to... Well, that, that being said, we're talking about colleges, institutions of higher learning. And this is, not, uh, this is not the business of sports. Okay, this is not professional football. It's not professional basketball. This is college sports. And the, you're supposed to be, as a student athlete, you're representing an institution of higher learning. And yes, the schools do have the role of making sure that they're bringing uh, athletes onto campus that are going to reflect well upon all the values that that institution uh, stands for. Does it just now, take a while to fact, get that in somebody's head, or is it something, I mean, how long does it take to develop that? Because a lot of kids, like I grew up, 
Uh, my dad was a coach. He coached me from the time I was walking and okay. uh, all the way through when I graduated high school, he was okay. still coaching me. So I, mean, I I grew up with that pretty much pounded into me that you're a represent, uh, representation of me, you're representative of your team, right. of your whole school. So right. act your like Your hometown, it. your family, the people in your, you're representing all kinds of people. Because uh, you are being given a tremendous opportunity to represent people. So is that something know? that they can uh, develop while they're in school? Like yeah. somebody who did not come from that background, uh, how long so, does that take? You know, the, the backgrounds we're talking about, now, uh, Jameis Winston, he didn't come from a deprived background. He, he's from Hueytown, Alabama. It's, he lives in a you know middle-class neighborhood. They've got this tragedy going on up in Mankato, Minnesota, this uh, Philip Nelson. Uh, he's now being accused of uh, criminal assault, had a bar fight. Uh, the victim, Isaac Colstead, had part of his brain removed. He's the father of a, of a three-year-old daughter. Uh, there's another uh, child expected on the way. This um, Philip Nelson's father, he had enough money to be hiring a private uh, quarterback coach. Wow. Right. You know, so wow. getting back to this whole thing about prodigies who are coming from good backgrounds. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Now, uh, and this, this is why it's disturbing to me, because these parents should know better. And now this uh, Jameis Winston, his father, Antonor Winston, is saying somebody should monitor him 24-7. Well, he, he's a grown man. He's, he's 20 years old. Yeah, yeah, you need a babysitter? So, so, you know, when you get into what should the schools be doing, well, the schools, they're going to be hiring uh, athletic directors. They're going to be hiring uh, head coaches. And the head coach, athletic director, they set a tone for that that institution, for that school. Mm -hmm. You know, if you go on the campus of uh, University of Alabama and they know the name Bear Bryant, uh, you know, Bear Bryant, he set a standard. He set a tone. His players, when he walked in the room, they stood up. You know? Yeah. It wasn't about me, me, me. Yeah, you it know, they usually the waited at least until they were veteran pros before they became prima donnas, but now they're like that before they even leave high school. Right. And, and this is something uh, that I think we as a society should start to address, uh, you know, there's so much emphasis on judging a, pe- a person by what you see on their outside and not by uh, judging them by what is going on within them, mm-hmm. themselves. Absolutely. With their inner strength and everything else. Got to call uh, it. And, and you get into, you're talking about the field of entertainment. What is athletics? It's another form of it entertainment. Is. Yeah. And, I, and, and it, it doesn't have to be you. You don't have to be a, a, an athlete. What if you're talented in music? or dance, or, or maybe you could be a fashion model. You have all these uh, little girls in, in pageants and Don, things like that. They're going to pull you a know? plug on us, and you'll be talking to the wall. So uh, we, need to, we need to put an end to it. But JohnGreenberg.com, author of several books, uh, very well-versed on what's happening in, in sports. Another fantastic guest brought to us uh, by Chris Kidd today, uh, ChrisKidd.com. Uh, Chris, uh, great, great job, great guest. Yeah, great interview. I'd, <laughs> we could talk for, for days probably. Absolutely. Gentlemen, thanks to both of you. Thank you ever so much for having me, and happy uh, holiday weekend. We'll, we'll get you back on as we get closer to college football season to talk about that uh, that uh, playoff system. All oh, right. Okay. <laughs> when we come back, much more for you. I do want to remind you, best content here shows up over there at USDATOReview.com, and you're listening to The Price of Business. <laughs> 